I'm expecting you to tell me. Council never does what I tell it to anyway, so. <laughs> Do we have? Oh. I probably still have a bill there that I haven't paid. <laughs> Testing. Push it on. Push it. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for the applause. We're here today to honor a very special person. Krista McCullough. I tried writing a speech that would be appropriate for the moment, and I gave up. I have one word. It said Krista McCullough Day. You don't want to hear me anyway. Let's go be on in a minute. You know, Krista, I'd rather prefer to just keep it an informal talk because, you know, Johnny Carson's had you, NASA's had you, <laughs> President Reagan's had you, now your hometown has you. Yeah. <laughs> We've had the opportunity as individuals, and fortunately through a parade that was well-timed, to give Krista a little indication of how proud we are of her. But when we first heard that Krista was selected as one of the 10 finalists, we started making plans of what, what her hometown, what her community could do to give, give Krista the idea of just how proud we are. And when we found out that Krista was going to be the, and I say quote, ordinary person, <laughs> who's going to be representing all the rest of us ordinary people in space in January, the momentum really, really took hold. And I want to share just a couple of things with you. You know, being mayor of Krista's hometown is one of the nicest honors I've had for a long, long time. And many members of the community have expressed to me, and I think hoping that perhaps if they didn't have the opportunity, Krista, that I would express it to you, some of the feelings that they've had. And I tried to summarize it without a long political speech. Let me just say it this way. Your hometown of Concord, New Hampshire, is extremely proud of you as a person, as a teacher, as a mother, as a cool and calm and professional person. We are extremely proud of you, and that's why today, to the extent that Concord, New Hampshire can indicate its pride, this is Krista McAuliffe Day. can get the, uh, the autographs, I get the hug. <laughs> There's a few things that, uh, you know, Krista's future trip is symbolic in many ways. And I think we have spe small speeches tonight to indicate to, to 
Krista and to the community, just how symbolic they are and how important they are to us. But there's a couple of things that we as a city and members of the city council and members of the Concord delegation, the elected officials of the community, share this pride and want to be up with you and, and look at the people here, Krista. With all due respect to the Nevers band, I think there was an added attraction tonight that brought a lot of people out. <laughs> that there's a <laughs> We have a little surprise, too, for the, for the band <laughs> before we're finished here. But we have a couple of, of things, the symbolism and the tokenism. These are things that we've put together that I think mean a lot to the Concord community and perhaps will, in the future, in the years go by, as this becomes a memory, although I, I can't, I hesitate to think that this just is a memory, <laughs> that you'll look at and bring back a little of the warmth, or represent a little of the warmth and pride that we as a community have in you. And the first is just the official proclamation of Krista McAuliffe Day. And I asked uh, Mayor Pro Tem Ken McDonald if I, thank you very much. Let me just read this. This is the official. Proclamation commending and congratulating Krista McAuliffe on, and designating August 6, 1985 as Krista McAuliffe Day in the city of Concord, New Hampshire. Whereas Krista McAuliffe has successfully endured national competition in the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Teacher in Space program, Whereas Krista has been selected for more than 10,000 teachers who applied for this program. Whereas Krista's selection has filled our community with pride, enthusiasm, and inspiration. Now therefore be proclaimed that the city of Concord wishes to, to extend our heartiest congratulations and highest commendation for her perseverance and dedication in seeking and achieving the honor and distinction of being the first teacher astronaut. Special, in the city of Concord, in the official uh, tokens of the city's honor, we have a few things that we'd like to present to Krista in one special request. I'll ask Councillor Kennison if I could have the plate. This is a special, special gift that we reserve in the city as, as a community um, for special people. And it's, it's simply a pewter plate, not silver, for the taxpayers. <laughs> And it just simply says, City of Concord, New Hampshire, Krista McAuliffe, first teacher astronaut, July 19th, 1985, when we first got the word, and it's the city seal. This is something that we hope will bring back memories of this, this special day for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have one other gift and a special request. Uh, Councillor Kime, could you present? This is the official city flag. Now, Krista, not everybody is presented with a flag in the city, but if you'll notice, see how this flag folds up real small. Now, I know those NASA spacesuits are a little bulky. So we're asking you, the community is asking you that if it's possible, and I've also uh, asked your NASA coordinator if it was possible, and he said, oh, I'll check it out. Uh, we're hoping that if you could stuff this someplace, <laughs> and when you float around in the shuttle, you'll think of Concord Community keep you nice and warm. And when you come back, we'll have a special flag that flew around the world. I mean, around the world a number of times. <laughs> if it's too big, we'll find something smaller that we can bring back. So this is a special gift. <laughs> This is a special night, and the last thing you want to hear is, is uh, politicians making speeches, and that's not the purpose of tonight. But there's a couple of, of people here tonight representing the city and the state who are would like to just express very briefly some of the, the pride that we feel, Krista, and then we'll have an opportunity for Krista to share her pride with us. But uh, I'd like to introduce now, representing the Concord Union School District, who is and hopefully will continue to be for many, many years in the future your employer, Krista. Uh, that's a, uh, representing the Concord Union School District is Joan Lonergan, member of the school board. Joan? I'm very happy to be here on Krista McAuliffe Day on behalf of the Concord School Board. 
Krista, we are delighted you applied for NASA's Teacher in Space program. We are honored you were selected. We are completely caught up in your enthusiasm for everything that has and will happen to you. We are proud of the thoughtful, articulate way you represent your profession and community to the nation. And we are grateful your selection has served to emphasize how important and accomplished our teachers and students in Concord are. For you, Krista, as the world's first teacher in space, had a list of Concord teachers and students who have been recognized for outstanding achievements this year. We are very proud to have you in our district, along with Richard Blanchard, New Hampshire Teacher of the Year, Phoebe Ann Boucher, New Hampshire Art Educator of the Year, Julie Burnham, New Hampshire Guidance Counselor of the Year, Clara DeGilio, Granite State Reading Teacher of the Year, Jan Wiley, New Hampshire Elementary Guidance Counselor of the Year, Art Jackson, for the second year, the number two teacher in mathematics in New Hampshire in the President's Excellence in Teaching Program, Bill McNamee, runner-up for the New Hampshire Industrial Arts Teacher of the Year, Two of our students were elected president and vice president of the New Hampshire National Honor Society, eight National Merit Scholarship Award finalists out of the 62 selected in New Hampshire, and three of the eight corporate-sponsored merit scholarships in New Hampshire went to Concord High School students. It is no surprise that the National School Recognition Program named Concord High School as one of three outstanding schools in New Hampshire. Secretary of Education Bennett will certainly find your shoes hard to fill and the standards of our professional staff hard to meet when he teaches your classes this fall. Of course, he won't find supervising a study hall or the smoking area a piece of cake either. <laughs> Krista, thanks to you, the rest of the country is learning what we've known for a long time. New Hampshire is first in the nation because of its people not because of its primary. Thank you and <laughs> congratulations. Special request. This is adjusted for you, Krista. The, uh, the next speaker, who may need it a little bit higher, Johnny Carson. I don't have a pencil. The next speaker uh, is representing the governor of the state of New Hampshire. And while this is Concord's special day for Krista, we thought we'd allow Peter Spaulding, a representative, a member of the executive counselor of Merrimack County Commissioner, and here tonight to bring the greetings of the governor, Krista. Peter. Thank you, David. I noted with. Uh, Dispatch, how you move quickly from being mayor of Concord to the mayor of Krista's hometown. <laughs> Krista, I think that uh, very briefly, we would just like to say that uh, as you uh, prepare for the uh, training and for your uh, test to come, that in the ensuing weeks, you, as you undergo these preparations uh, for this momentous voyage into space, you'll be deluged by both friends and strangers. Uh, asking you to carry various objects, mementos, and souvenirs of various descriptions into space. But we here in Concord and throughout the state of New Hampshire know what you will take with you on that momentous journey. The admiration and respect of your colleagues in the teaching profession. The dreams and hopes of the many students your profession touches. And the pride and love of your friends and neighbors throughout New Hampshire. Truly, Krista, the right stuff. <laughs> I would like to, uh, on behalf of the governor, present with you as you leave for Houston in the next several weeks for undergoing training, a little memento of New Hampshire that you can take with you so that uh, the memories and, and uh, views of New Hampshire can be with you while you're uh, in Texas away from this. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Luck. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the political speeches you hear tonight. <laughs> Promise. Our next speaker is a very special person for whom this day has been named. Uh, and I have two questions, and you may not select to answer them here, uh, Krista, but I have one. 
what's Johnny Carson really like? And two, when you floated around in the airplane, did you get sick? No. Okay, those are the two questions. Without further ado, somebody that we've all been waiting to hear from, somebody for whom we're very, very proud, our special person today, Krista McAuliffe. request. And uh, anybody who can fly in space, Mr. Giles has said, can direct his band. He wants to tell his grandchildren that the first teacher in space directed his band. And it's not everybody that has that opportunity. I've been trying for years. So for the next selection of the Nevers Band, Krista McAuliffe, conductor.